Gregory Bar Hebraeus (1226–30 also known by his Latin name Abulpharagius or Syriac name Mor Gregorios Bar Ibraya, was a Mafrian Catholicos, chief bishop of Persia, of the Syriac Orthodox Church in the 13th century. He is noted for his works concerning philosophy, poetry, language, history, and theology. He has been called one of the most learned and versatile men from the Syriac Orthodox Church. Doctor. William Wright, Bar Hebraeus collected in his numerous and elaborate treatises the results of such research in theology, philosophy, science and history as was in his time possible in Syria. Most of his works were written in Syriac. However he also wrote some in Arabic, which had become the common language in his day. Name it is not clear when Bar Hebraeus adopted the Christian name Gregory Syriac, Grigris Grigorios, Grigorius, but according to the Syriac Orthodox tradition of naming high priests, it may have occurred at the time of his consecration as bishop. Throughout his life, he was often referred to by the Syriac nickname Bar Ibraya Syriac, Bur Bri which is pronounced and often transliterated as Bar Ibroyo in the West Syriac dialect of the Syriac Orthodox Church, giving rise to the Latinized name Bar Hebraeus. This nickname refers to his Jewish background, which means, son of the Hebrew. His father was a Jewish physician. The name also referred to the place of his birth as well, Ebra, where the old road east of Malatya towards Karput modern Elizig and Amida Mesopotamia modern Diyabakir crossed the Euphrates. He is also known as Abul Faraj in Latin, Abul Life. Topic. A Syriac bishop, philosopher, poet, grammarian, physician, biblical commentator, historian, and theologian, Bar Hebraeus was the son of a Jewish physician, Aaron Harun bin Tuma al Maladi, Arabic. Harwin bn Bar Hebraeus was born in the village of Ebra, Izoli, Turk, Kusarei, near Malatya, Sultanate of Rum, modern Turkey, now in the province of Elazig. Under the care of his father, he began as a boy a Tenaris Ungiculus, the study of medicine and of many other branches of knowledge, which he never abandoned. A Mongol general invaded the area of Malatya, and falling ill, sought for a physician. Aaron, the Hebrew physician, was summoned. Upon his recovery, the Mongol general and Aaron, who took his family with him, went to Antioch. Their Bar Hebraeus continued with his studies and when he was about 17 years of age he became a monk and began to lead the life of the hermit. From Antioch Bar Hebraeus went to Tripoli in Phoenicia, and studied rhetoric and medicine. In 1246 he was consecrated Bishop of Gubos by the Syriac Orthodox Patriarch Ignatius II, and in 1252 he was transferred to Aleppo. In 1255 was transferred to the See of Lakabine and finally was made primate, or Mafrian, of the East by Ignatius IV Yeshu in 1264. His episcopal duties did not interfere with his studies, he took advantage of the numerous visitations, which he had to make throughout his vast province, to consult the libraries and converse with the learned men whom he happened to meet. Thus he gradually accumulated an immense erudition, became familiar with almost all branches of secular and religious knowledge, and in many cases thoroughly mastered the bibliography of the various subjects which he undertook to treat. Bar Hebraeus preserved and systematized the work of his predecessors, either by way of condensation or by way of direct reproduction. Both on account of his virtues and of his science, Bar Hebraeus was highly esteemed. He died in Miraga, Persia, and was buried at the Mar Matai Monastery, near Mosul. He left an autobiography, to be found in a Semani, Biblioth. Orient, 2, 248-263, the account of his death was written by his brother, Gregorius Barsamo, d. 1,307 <laughs> Works Topic. Encyclopedic and philosophical Topic. Bar Hebraeus' great encyclopedic work is his Hayweth Hekmetha, the cream of science, which deals with almost every branch of human knowledge, and comprises the whole Aristotelian discipline, after Avicenna and Arabian writers. This work, so far, has not been published, with the exception of one chapter, by Margoliath, in Analecta Orientalia ad Poeticam Aristotelium London, 1887, 114-139.
The Kethaba Dhe Babatha, Book of the Pupils of the Eyes, is a compendium of logic and dialectics. The rest is to be found only in manuscripts, preserved at Florence, Oxford, London, and elsewhere. 3. Tegrath Tegratha, Commerce of Commerces, a resume of the preceding, also unpublished. 4. Kethaba Dhe Sewad Sophia, Book of Speech of Wisdom, Compendium of Physics and Metaphysics. To these should be added a few translations of Arabic works into Syriac, as well as some treatises written in Arabic. Topic. Biblical Topic. The most important work of Bar Hebraeus is Azar Reis, Storehouse of Secrets, a commentary on the entire Bible, both doctrinal and critical. Before giving his doctrinal exposition of a passage, he first considers its critical state. Although he uses the Peshitta as a basis, he knows that it is not perfect, and therefore controls it by the Hebrew, the Septuagint, the Greek versions of Symmachus, Theodotion, Aquila, by Oriental versions, Armenian and Coptic, and finally by the other Syriac translations, Heraclean, Philozenian and especially the Syro-Hexapla. The work of Bar Hebraeus is of prime importance for the recovery of these versions and more specially for the Hexapla of origin, of which the Syro-Hexapla is a translation by Paul of Tella. His exegetical and doctrinal portions are taken from the Greek fathers and previous Syriac Orthodox theologians. No complete edition of the work has yet been issued, but many individual books have been published at different times. Topic. Historical Topic. Bar Hebraeus has left a large ecclesiastical history called Machtvanuth Zivni, Chronicon, in which he considers history from the creation down to his own day. Bar Hebraeus used almost all that had been written before him, showing particular favor to the now lost chronographic records published by Theophilus of Edessa late 8th century, although he has this only through Michael the Syrian and other dependents. The work is divided into two portions, often transmitted separately. The first portion deals with political and civil history and is known as the Chronicon Syriacum. The standard edition of the Chronicon Syriacum is that of Bedjan, Gregory Barhebrai Chronicon Syriacum, Paris, 1890. An English translation by E. A. Wallace Budge exists. This was to give context to the second portion, known as the Chronicon Ecclesiasticum and covering the religious history. That section begins with Aaron and consists of a series of entries of important individuals. The first half covers the history of the Syriac Orthodox Church and the Patriarchs of Antioch, while the second half is devoted to the Church of the East, the Nestorian Patriarchs, and the Jacobite Mafrians. The current edition of the Chronicon Ecclesiasticum is that of Abelus and Lamy, Syriac text, Latin translation. An English translation by David Wilmshurst was published by Gorgias Press in February 2016. Bar Hebraeus towards the end of his life decided to write a history in Arabic largely based on the Chronicon Syriacum, adapted for a wider Arabic reading readership rather than solely for Syriac literate clergy. This became the Al-Muqtasar fi el duel This was first published by Edward Pokok in 1663 with a Latin translation. A modern edition was first published by Fr. Anton Salhani in 1890. Topic. Theological Topic. In theology Bar Hebraeus was a myophysite. He probably, however, thought that the differences between Catholics, Nestorians, and the rest did not affect the common faith, hence, he did not consider others as heretics, and was not himself considered as such, at least by the Church of the East and the Armenians. Indeed, he once mused, when I had given much thought and pondered on the matter, I became convinced that these quarrels among the different Christian churches are not a matter of factual substance, but of words and terminology, for they all confess Christ our Lord to be perfect God and perfect human, without any comingling, mixing, or confusion of the natures. Thus I saw all the Christian communities, with their different Christological positions, as possessing a single common ground that is without any difference between them. In this field, we have from Bar Hebraeus Menarath Qudhshe, Lamp of the Sanctuary, and the Kethaba Dhe Zalj, Book of Rays, a summary of the first. These works have not been published, and exist in manuscript in Paris, Berlin, London, Oxford, and Rome. Ascetical and moral theology were also treated by Bar Hebraeus, and we have from him Kethaba Dhe Ithakon, Book of Ethics, 
and Kethaba Dhe Yana, Book of the Dove, an ascetical guide. Both have been edited by Bedjan in Ethicon Seu Moralia Gregori Barhebrai, Paris and Leipzig, 1898. The Book of the Dove was issued simultaneously by Kardahi, Rome, 1898. Bar Hebraeus codified the juridical texts of the Syriac Orthodox, in a collection called Kethaba Dhe Hudhe, Book of Directions, edited by Bedjan, Bar Hebrae Paris, 1898. A Latin translation is to be found in Angelo Mai, Scriptorum Viter, Nova Collectio, Volume X. Bar Hebraeus has left besides many other works. On grammatical subjects we have the Book of Splendors and Book of the Spark, both edited by Martin. Irves Grammaticals de Abul Farage dit Barhebraeus. Two vols, Paris, 1872, also works on mathematics, astronomy, cosmography, and medicine, some of which have been published, but others exist only in manuscript. Other works A full list of Bar Hebraeus S other works, and of editions of such of them as have been published, will be found in W. Wright. S. Syriac Literature, pp. 268 to 281. The more important of them are Kethaba Dhe Babatha, Book of the Pupils of the Eyes, a treatise on logic or dialectics. Hewith Hekmitha, Butter of Wisdom, an exposition of the whole philosophy of Aristotle. Sularat Haunanaya, Ascent of the Mind, a treatise on astronomy and cosmography, edited and translated by F. Now, Paris, 1899. Various medical works. Kethaba Dhe Zalj, Book of Rays, a treatise on grammar. Ethical works. Poems. Kethaba Dhe Thunay Myasjakanal, Book of Entertaining Stories, edited and translated by E. A. Wallace Budge, London, 1897. Topic. Veneration Topic. He is regarded as a saint by the Syriac Orthodox Church, who hold his feast day on July 30. Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Bar Hebraeus. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Patriarch Ignatius Ephraim I. Al Lulu al Mannaur. Patriarch Ignatius Zaka I. 1986. The Patriarchal Circular. Archbishop Gregorius Paulos Benham. Na. Bar Ebroyo the Poet. Bar Ebroyo. Published collection of poems. Bar Ebroyo. Machtbanuth Zabni. The chronography of Bar Ebroyo. Bar Ebroyo. Al Muktasar Fid Dul. Takahashi, Hidemi. 2005. Bar Hebraeus, a bio bibliography. Piscataway, N.J., Gorges Press. ISBN 1 59333 148 7. Takahashi, Hidemi. Bar backquote Ebroyo, Grigorios, in Sebastian Brock et al., eds., Gorges Encyclopedic Dictionary of Syriac Heritage, Piscataway, Gorges Press. Budge, Ernest A. Wallace, ed., 1932. Bar Hebraeus Chronography, translated from Syriac. London. <laughs> External links Gregory Barhebrai Chronicon Ecclesiasticum, Quad e Codis Musae Britannici Descriptum Conjuncta Opera Editirunt, Latinitate Donorunt Annotationibusque. Illustrant Jean Baptiste Abelouz, Thomas Joseph Lamy, also at archive.org here. Gregory Barhebrai Chronicon Syriacum, Encyclopedia of Bar Hebraeus, Abu al Faraj, Sir Yawaiwanus. Gregory Bar Hebrai Sholia in Samum LXVIII, E. Codicibus MSS, Syriacis Bibliothesi Florentina et Clementino Vaticanae et Bidleianae Oxoniensis Prima Medita et Annotationibus Illustrata, Bratislavia 1852. The Laughable Stories of Bar Hebraeus, 1897 tr. by E. A. W. 
Budge, at Sacred Texts Takahashi, Hidemi Barhabraeus, Gregory Abu al-Faraj. In Thomas Hockey, et al. The Biographical Encyclopedia of Astronomers. New York, Springer. pp. 94-5. ISBN 978-0-387-31022-0. PDF version.